world of the internet and instant data, the idea that information is stored in a physical location can seem foreign at first, which is why it is often ignored. However, all data is stored at a physical location. In the same way that pictures on a computer are stored on a hard drive in an office, network data originates from a storage location somewhere. The exact location of the server data is the issue pertaining to privacy rights. Information knows no borders. The physical location of stored data has no impact on the logistics of delivering that data anywhere in the world. Most companies and institutions store data where it is cheapest and most efficient to do so. And, as the majority of low-cost data servers are located in the United States, the majority of the world's data is hosted there. However, while information may know no borders, the law does. And school boards in Canada, storing data in the United States, may be compromising the privacy of their students. In the wake of September 11th, the United States enacted a piece of anti-terror legislation known as the Patriot Act. A part of the act allows law enforcement the ability to search and seize almost any kind of digital file at any moment as long as it is stored on American soil. In addition, it is illegal for the company storing the file to inform the owner of the data that the file has been accessed. That means that student records from London, Ontario, stored in Houston, Texas, could be seized by the U.S. government without permission. A few years ago, Lakehead University teamed up with Google to host their school data at Google's expense. However, once the system was set up, the university realized that the data was being hosted in the United States and subject to the Patriot Act. This forced the university to set up a secondary series of expensive local servers to host the more private data. It is not just in the United States either. Countries all around the world have similar laws that allow either lax security or outright breaches of privacy. It should also be noted that companies located in Canada may lease third-party storage from any number of countries around the world. Web-based emails such as Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, and Gmail also host most of their data on American servers. Survey tools such as SurveyMonkey and Google Docs also store their data outside Canada. Using these services for work-based communications should be avoided. It is with these factors in mind that IT departments should take into consideration the location of hosted data as well as cost before making any hosting decisions.